I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Are you willing to hear the hard things? Or just the easy, pleasurable to the flesh things? Because they're both in the Word. I mean, there are New Testament promises. To buy. There are a lot of New Testament pro- promises. You know, people love to hear about getting. Oh my goodness, mm-hmm. people love to hear what you're going to get, what you're going to get. Mm-hmm. But Jesus said in Luke 14, 33, So then none of you can be my disciple who does not give up all his own possessions. How often do you hear that? These are promises in the New Testament, and not by, not a complete list by any means, isn't it? All who desire to live godly will be persecuted. Mm -hmm. That's the word of God. Yes. You'll be hated by all because of his name's sake. Jesus says that they hated Jesus, first they're going to hate you. Mm -hmm. The sufferings of Christ are ours in abundance. We are called to die to ourselves. We're called to deny ourselves, et cetera, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Uh, Well, I mean, because the Word is full of that. That's part of the Word of God. So many things that I promise you, you will not commonly hear in many, many, many churches. What you hear in the church should be our common confession. And our common confession is supposed to be those things that buttress up hold up and support the truth. Okay? Now, it, it's not, I'm not saying that everything in the Word is that difficult and that following Jesus is, is hard mm-hmm. by any means. Mm-hmm. There's but I times. am saying yeah, there are times. that there's, there's a difference between hearing a message that is nothing but sugar-coated gospel of mm-hmm. prosperity and happiness because that's not rightly balanced. Yeah. It's not, it's not rightly divided, okay? Mm-hmm. There, there, it, Jesus said, count the cost. You better understand that there is a cost following Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. and you better be prepared to pay it. And there, it is a sign that we are living in the last days, I am sure, that that message, that message of counting the cost to follow Jesus, that we are to deny ourselves and not care about ourselves but care about others and Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's not a message that's very common, particularly in the large, large churches because if they preach that in the large, large churches, they might not be large, large churches because the flesh doesn't want to hear that. Okay? It doesn't tickle the ears. It hugs the heart and buttresses up and supports the truth. When many of his disciples withdrew and were not walking with him anymore because they said his words were difficult, Jesus said therefore to the twelve, You do not want to go away also, do you? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life.